Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing uh, a wintry cityscape. So let's get going. Alright, so as always, all you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. Coloring is always optional. So for my take, I think I'm going to do this first part in pencil first, and then I'll move on to marker, that way you can see it better on camera. So let's get started. So over here I got my pencil, I have my paper horizontally, and the first step it says on this little printout I found online is to draw um, a little bit of a curve, or sorry, a wavy line on the bottom to symbolize where the snow would be. So let's go from here. And it's kind of wave, maybe once or twice, there we go. And that should cover the ground area. Uh, you do a slightly less wave than I did, it's up to you. Now, next step is to do a couple buildings. So let's get started with that. So I'm gonna do maybe one over here. Okay, and then you wanna have it have a snowy top. So let me just draw some slight wave on top. As it goes down, more waves that are more wavy than usual. Okay, so that's one building. Well, let's do two buildings on each side, so maybe one taller one right here. So another wavy line right there, and then the top part, not as wavy. And then another building on the other side. So maybe one that's about that tall. So again, a tad bit wavy on the top, but then more wavy on the bottom. There we go. All right, now next step is pretty simple. All you have to do is add more buildings on the insides. So maybe uh, draw a line right here. And that way we can draw maybe one type of building right here in between. Maybe another one right here on this side. There you go, so that side is all done. Uh, and then maybe another one right here. So a wavy line like this. Draw a line going down. And then one probably a little bit lower. So let's draw one right around there. All right, so my, now my buildings are all done. Now what do these buildings need? windows so let's draw some windows all right so i think this next part i think i'm pretty confident doing the rest of it in sharpie uh, so it's a little bit easier to see so let me just retrace everything i just did with a black marker there we go and right here is the snow on top of all the buildings so if you need to erase something or adjust something uh, I suggest you do it now before you go to uh, tracing later. And you don't have to trace it, you can go straight to um, the next step after this. If you didn't want to trace it, that's fine. All right, almost done here. All right, a couple more buildings left and then we should be all good to go. All right, so personally, I don't want my pencil lines to be there. So I'm just gonna glide over it with a kneaded eraser. <laughs> And uh, hopefully that'll clean up the area a tad bit. So maybe uh, clean up some of the pencil lines over there. Some of the wavy lines that I didn't follow so much right here and there. All right. I don't need to dust off my paper because needed erasers do not leave residue. All right, there you go. All right, now let's start on some, some windows. So for me, um, I like to draw different size windows. Um, you could do all the same if you want. Um, doesn't matter, I don't think. So maybe a couple right here, this size. Maybe a couple windows that look more like this, more like uh, horizontal, like that. So it looks like a row of um, windows all together. Normally, windows are like this when it's a taller building, so that's why I picked the tallest building for that kind of window. Um, maybe some tinier windows. So maybe I'll do it in like a really small building like this one. Small windows, nice and square, just like so. Maybe one extra row. I know it's gonna go into the snow a little bit, but you're kind of looking over the hill, kinda. All right, for this one, maybe I'll do windows that look more like this. There we are. Now we have a good variety of windows here. I think we have a good variety of windows. All right, let me see if I can go all the way across here. And I think for the other windows, I'm just going to go super easy with like reg regular rectangles and regular squares. So maybe for this one, just regular rectangles going up and down. Maybe only do two rows. 
There you go. And then maybe for this one, regular squares, nice and big. All right. It is going to be a little difficult to color around them, but it'll look good at the end. All right, just add another row down there. All right, for this one, I think I'm going to do mm, sideways rectangles, but not so large. This one's kind of behind it. There we are. And the windows don't have to be perfect. Windows do not need to be perfect on this drawing. They're just there to add more detail. Okay. All right, windows are all done. Now, the next step is to add swirls in the sky. I am gonna change color. Um, I highly suggest to do this part in pencil, but I'm gonna be confident and say, I think I could do this in marker right away. So here I go. So this is gonna be the spirals in the sky to symbolize the wind. We'll do one spiral here. Ooh, I might sneeze. Hold on. One big spiral in the middle, so I might have to go behind a building to make it perfectly round. There we go. And then another spiral on the other end, maybe right here. There we go. All right, now we just gotta add extra lines here and there. So maybe one line going this way. And then one kind of just curving it like that. And maybe one line going in this direction. There we are. Let's go this way from this one. And then we shall keep going this way for this one probably. And then for this bottom one, we should probably just curve this direction. Hopefully that'll make it more interesting. All right, my sky is all done. All right, next step, it looks like all I gotta do is color so let's get going all right i'm gonna do my buildings uh, all uh warm colors here so i'm gonna knock it off with a little bit of brown among the buildings so here's some brown there we go make sure i don't hit the snow i want to keep the snow light on the top of the roof and on the bottom it's a little bit easier than I thought when coloring the buildings, but I might regret it later, <laughs> so I won't say anything. But there's a brown. Let's choose an orange here. Let's do an orange for the center building right here. All right, looking good. Oh, I hit the window a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now it's all about going in between the windows. Uh, vertically and horizontally. So it's vertical and here's horizontal. Here we go. Right, that building's done. Next building, let's try to do this nice dark orange. There we go. All right, let's cover the horizontal parts first. And after we do the horizontal parts, let's do the vertical ones. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a uh, building with this color, probably. Right, let's do this back one, probably this color. Ooh, that's a nice bright color. All right. Let's do these last two buildings yellow. All right, there we go. Let's do the horizontal parts of those buildings. There we go. All right, my buildings are almost done. All right, all right buildings 
are all colored. Um, next step is the sky, but before I do the sky, let's add some detail in the snow by adding a little shade of light blue here and there. There we go, and then some on top of the buildings, but right underneath the snow, not too much. Okay, leave some of those white. All right, I'm gonna keep my white crayon for later. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a dark blue and color the remainder of the sky. Let's see if I can choose our correct blue here. And I think I might choose, hold on, how dark is that? I'm trying to find the correct blue here. All right, this one looks, looks like it'll work. What color is this? Indigo. All right, let's try indigo. All right, indigo's a pretty color. All right. All right, let's just color the sky. as dark of a blue that I wanted, but it'll it'll do. <laughs> Alright, make sure I don't hit the snow. Make sure I stay in the sky area. Ooh, this is looking really good so far. Parts of the snow I need to avoid. Let's do this section right here. Alright. Let's color over here. And almost done. Alright, so that's done. Let's add some white in the sky by adding little dots here and there. And it looks like it's not doing anything, so we'll skip that step. Anyways, this is my windy, uh, wintry scene of a cityscape, and that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.